I'm out here this afternoon and I am smoking my Savinelli pipe. And I want to thank all of y'all for helping me reach 500 subscribers here on YouTube. I have about eight and a half thousand followers over on TikTok, except I have not posted on TikTok in a very long time. It just wasn't as enjoyable as making more sit down long form content over here on YouTube. I just find that YouTube has a better audience. It has been about nine months since I posted my video where I was sharing my thoughts on the Pipe Cottage controversy. And here I am again, nine months later, posting another video about this. And I can't believe that I'm doing this again. I thought that we could move forward as not only a community, but especially inside of the Christian community, we could move forward um, with stuff like this. But as the Bible says, there's nothing new under the sun. So here we are again. Now, nine months ago is essentially when Alan Haraldson announced that he was looking to convert to Catholicism. And he was met with quite a bit of backlash, not only from the pipe smoking community who was telling him to not even talk about or share things about his faith here on the platform, but also from fellow believers who were jumping on him for a different expression of faith than what they had. Now I can understand some of the arguments from the pipe community, specifically, it's just the nature of the beast. People are here and they want a certain thing. They, you, when you have a medium like a pipe and that's what people are here to learn about, for some people it can be very hard to learn that there's more to life than just talking about pipes and that there's an actual meaning and a reason behind the fact that we sit and contemplate with a pipe. This is the tool to focus the things that Alan is now talking about. Now, whether or not you agree with him, I'm a Protestant myself, and there are some things that I'm sure he holds to that I disagree with, but that's what this is for, isn't it? The whole purpose of having something like a pipe is to be able to sit, to be able to think, to be able to talk, to be able to discuss, to be able to have these conversations. And if not only the church can't do this or the pipe community, then what's the point? When we're talking about stuff like this, this is a very emotional subject for all parties involved. The fight that a lot of y'all are fighting is not the good fight. There's a lot of things to fight in this world. There's a lot of injustice to, to discuss. There's a lot of difference of opinions and a difference of expressions. And these things need to be thoroughly sat down and worked through. But it isn't the fight that you think it is. It's not the battle that you think you are waging. You're not advancing as far as you think you would, as much as you'd like to advance. And for a lot of people, you're regressing. And that's sad to see, especially with people that I respect, people that I know that can't even have these sorts of discussions. One of my, one of my dearest friends is Eastern Orthodox. And we talk for hours and hours and hours about the, our differences of expression of faith and, and why we believe in the things we believe in. And believe it or not, we're better friends because of it. And we're better men. What does the Bible say? Well, in the scripture, it says, iron sharpens iron as one man sharpens another. And I'm starting to have the sinking feeling that a lot of these people that are engaging in these conversations aren't iron. And then another thing that you'd have to engage with when you go down this line of thinking with, well, who are the people that we're engaging with and trying to advance the conversation forward is 
Are you even going about the conversation like a man would go about it? Are you thinking about the other party and how they feel? Are you, or are you just trying to have a conversation for the sake of trying to win an argument? Is this, is this a hill you're trying to die on because this is the one outlet that you have to be heard and the only way to garner attention is to be a contrarian and so you're just here stirring and fighting and you have to be you have to be right well if that is the case and if you are somebody of faith like I am a Christian then I would ask you to sit back grab your pipe with me relight it if it's gone out like mine has. Think about this. Who do you really want to win? For me, I want that person to be Christ. But he already won. So, what am I sitting here trying to fight for? Who am I fighting? Can I search the heart of a man thoroughly and know him to his core and whether or not and I can make assessments and judgments on character? I have tools that I can use to assess the character of another, but do I know for certain? No, I don't. It's an impossible task. Am I supposed can I show the love of Christ to all the people around me? Absolutely, I have the tools for that as well. I'm imperfect at that. Don't get me wrong. Can I share the good news? And what is that? Well, it's the fact that Christ lived the life I could never live, died the death that I deserve, so that I might have eternal life through him. And he is now the, the doorway, the person that I can come to and fall on my knees and confess to and have confidence in salvation. Well, that's a beautiful thing to fight for. And it's worth fighting. But this, this idea that we're going to win these battles of, of conversation, no, primarily, number one, you're never going to win this type of argument. It's a terrible place to, to even have this type of discussion. And I really wish that I was sitting face to face with you and we could actually sit down and have a conversation and not there's a separation especially in the comment section and speaking between me and this camera is another separation the best conversations happen in person but you know that's just it isn't it we're not going to win these types of things online these types of conversations need to be had in a calculated calm and respectful manner face to face it's the best way to do it. Now, unfortunately, I'm a man with a busy schedule. I don't post here as much as I should, uh, or as much as I'd even like to. Uh, and I'm not always able to have these types of conversations in person. So sometimes I use this type of medium. Sometimes I use phone conversations. And if I'm really pressed, I'll text you. But I prefer not to. But this isn't the way to go about it. I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts on it. I did before, I'll do it again, and as this continues to continue as life does, I'm sure I'll have more to say. But in the meantime, I'd like to congratulate Alan. Alan, if you are watching this, congratulations on your new, um, I believe it was a tobacco blend that you had come up with. I don't know if I'll be able to get the opportunity to get some myself, but I'd like to congratulate you on that. Anyways, continue in the faith, brother prayed for you once in the past let me pray for you again before I close this video off. Lord be with and strengthen my brother Alan Lord the world is so dark there are many forces at work today Lord but the most powerful force in this universe and the force that is always moving is you continue to move not only in my life but in the lives of anyone who's listening to this video, if they have not come to know you as a Lord and Savior, 
please bring them to a knowledge of yourself. Please remind Alan that you are there for him as well. Strengthen him and his family. Give them strength and help. Provide for them for the, the many years to come. Do the same for me and for anyone who's watching this video. Pray this in all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In his name, amen. I'll catch you guys in another video. I know I'm not always quick to respond and I don't post very much, but I'll try to do better. But in the meantime, comment down in the comment section what you guys think. Let me know. I'd love to get to have these types of conversations with you. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.